And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. Part two of our sub battle stream. We're going to be doing three different parts, just splitting up the video a little bit to help you all out so it's not a really long, you know, like seven hour video. Um, and uh, hey, there we go. Thank you so much there, Paul. Um, so far, I am up four to one over chat. We've had some awesome games so far. Uh, we, we're going to go ahead and move on. It looks like we're playing against um, Telstar up next. And let's see what we're going to be playing. So I play, I'm play. i playing a different deck every single round. And, of course, uh, chat's bringing all their awesome decks here. And so uh, I'm spinning this wheel to see what deck I'm playing. It started with 20 decks. Looks like we've played five so far. So it's down to... Or it started with 25, and we've played five, so it's down to 20. Let's spin it, see what deck I'm playing up next. Abs and enchantments. Okay. So here we go. So make sure, uh, Telstar, of course, your format's on best of three. And um, basically all these video all these decks are, are decks that you know we've played before that you can find in different videos, one to to show all of our decks. Remember with this one, I remember the I wasn't a huge fan of the ethereal absolutions, but everything else did pretty good. So here we go. This is our Abzan enchantment deck. Okay, so don't don't change anything else except for just the best of three line. Don't change anything else. Should just say challenge match, best of three, coin flip. There we go. I'm back. Yeah, Rampage of the Clans deck? Yeah, we should make a Rampage of the Clans deck, shouldn't we? There's a lot of enchantments to Rampage and make some instant speed 3-3s. Three Looks like we're ramping. <laughs> yeah, it just disappeared. So probably gonna need to get another black source with this fabled passage. Ooh, I need to kill that risen reef though too. I want to play hateful idol on and Meyer's grasp in the same turn, but we don't get to do that. So let's just. Myers grass. I mean, we have to kill that thing. And I can fable passage for swamp and double spell next turn. My favorite standard deck to play. Looking for a cool, janky deck to play. Um, I've really liked the Demir Kraken deck. Honestly, um, that and Teamer Ramp, those have probably been my two favorites. Um, I've been working on a Grixis deck that we're going to be playing tomorrow that uh, I think I may, <clears throat> I may like that one. Okay. So, got to beat Nyssa. This is this is where um, Ethereal Absolution could really help. Let's drop hard first. No. Thranery, getting the Twitch Prime sub back in. Thanks, Thranery. Thanks for resubbing. Looks like that's sub number five. I need to update that.
It's a lot of good stuff to the graveyard. I like that. Hmm. Let's thin the deck. Take more lands out. I think they drew something good, unfortunately. Absolution can also eat the cards in their graveyard, which is good against Cavalier Thorns. Ugh. Yep. Another card I'm not going to miss whenever it rotates out, Hydra Crisis. Yeah, and Ornissa. It's gonna be a good rotation. I mean, Crisis was a four of in the most popular deck before Nissa was printed. It's not like it's not like Crisis is nothing without Nissa. <laughs> yeah, Jellyfish Hydra Beast is it, that's that's pretty cool. Alright, I'll give you that. Just let the attack happen. I don't need to concede. All right, another Elspeth conquers death. Some noxious grasps. I shatter the sky. Agonizing remorse to spark. Lots of stuff to bring in. Okay. So what if I try this? All right, let's try this.
I don't know. This hand isn't very good, is it? Well, it's possible the Nightmare Shepherds could race, I suppose. I need to... Uh, Need this fourth land. Yay. Need Archon, Shepherd. Need them to fly through the air. I need no Cavalier of Thorns. This is Abzan Enchantments that we're playing right now. Behold, nature's true power. JJ, cheers, go, go team chat. This one's looking good for team chat. Got a lot of stuff in the air, but doesn't matter too much when facing down infinite mana. See, we draw one of our sideboard removal spells we brought in. I, also, I have, you know, like four Banishing Light. Banishing Light is perfect against Krasis. Uh, you know, we got some Noxious Craftsman here. Dispark doesn't hit Krasis. We'll see if we get any of that stuff. That's not a good attack. Probably not a good attack. I don't know, maybe it is. Because I'm, like I'm going to be gaining all that life back. They might as well, you know, have a, a blocker to kill like the Archon or something. So Archon has lifelink, and then all these Pegasuses have lifelink as well. Obviously, Andre's Forerunners is the biggest thing that I'm scared of right now. No, I guess Deckmaster doesn't work with the new set yet. 
Don't know when that's going to be updated, but won't be soon enough. Thanks, JJ. Yeah, I'm really excited about the new house also. Can't wait. I have 20 damage right now. If I just attack out, I deal 20. Assuming Archon and Shepard are, are blocked. The two biggest creatures. Not block an Archon. All Wait, are you sure about that fluky flip? The development the developer for Deckmaster stopped working on it. And that it won't be updated anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much finale can go for. Oh, there's finale for ten. So yep, we're done. Let the attack happen again. All right. Turns out no interaction for if you play against Simic with no interaction, you're gonna lose. Even if you have Archon of Sun's Grace making a bunch of Pegasus for you. But we had zero interaction. I guess we had a mind's grasp. Never mind, we had we killed one O three. Alright, four and two. Team chat picking out the win. Alright, GG's there, Telstar. Um Okay, if you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle in chat. Yeah, should have won. We killed that 03. How did, how did we win? Santos, yeah, you have to... I mean, the last time I tried... Like with Cardboard Live, it's not just something you can download, as far as I know, unless that changed. Um, you have to uh, you have to email them to get up, to be able to use it, and I I emailed them a couple months ago, and I didn't hear anything back. So like, if I mean if I would like to use Cardboard Live, but yeah, I could try emailing them again. 
Yeah, Santos. Yeah, if you know, if you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to play. I'd like to use a uh, cardboard live. I just didn't. Um. All right, everybody's in there. I wish it was just something that you could just you know, use, you know, like you just, you just install and use. I wish it wasn't like a, you have to email and all that kind of stuff. All right, Samuel, you're up next. All right, Samuel, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. And I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. All right, I'm playing the Is It Storm combo deck. This is a deck I'm going to be playing tomorrow. There you go. Thanks, Samuel. This is just a... Um, yeah, you know, like this is a deck that we had before Theros. I, I've updated it with just a couple of Theros cards, Intervention, Storm's Wrath. Um, <clears throat> the point of the deck, though, is to deal infinite damage with copying expansion over and over with Ral and play. And that's what we're going to be trying to deal. Okay, make sure you're on best of three. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of like, you know, Storm Condo combo is kind of like, you know, Ral Storm Conduit. It's not real, it's not a, a true Storm deck. It's more of a. Kind of play similar to Is It Flash. Okay. I'll take the opt. So what do we got with breeding pool? We got another ramp deck. Teamer. This could be an interesting one. If it's like Teamer Reclamation or something like that. Mercura. I like it. Guess I don't need the sixth mana. thinking it's an untapped land. Love to make a Fable Passage is an untapped land now also. Yep. 
try one. Storms are like a symphony, and I am a great conductor. <laughs> Make the highlight price 990 to appease Kendis. <laughs> yeah, I would like, again, I'd like to use Cardboard Live if I could. Nature flows with vigor. It's possible that James just never got, got my email. You know, that was, was a long time ago. Could, could have just been busy and just didn't see it. And I don't really know what to say. It was just like, I would like to use Cardboard Live and then said my Twitch name. Like, that was it. Uh oh. Eight nine's pretty big. Can't really kill an eight nine. Turns out I need that that sixth mana that I said I didn't need. I turns out I did need that mana. No, I I I'm pretty far away from comboing. Could kill Kiora. Genius inventor? I got it all. Could have killed Kiora and Paradise Druid um, by using the Scorching Dragonfire, but that's the only thing for my turn. Copy Dragonfire and Shock is 8 damage as far as killing Hydra. So I guess there's Ember Cleave, which means if I block Paradise Druid, I die. Double up this opt. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. I've got that sinking feeling. 
coming again. Time to clam up. I mean, I need, I need a Brazen Borrower to balance the Hydra. Um, Yeah, I could have killed... I mean, I could have used all of my red spells to kill Voracious Hydra, but obviously I'm at one, and the Paradise Druids would kill me. So definitely going to be bringing in Aether Gust. Um, okay, well, I mean some big creatures, usually. I feel pretty good. I mean, my plan was to have Gadwick in play where I would have been able to tap down Voracious Hydra. Like, I, that would not have been a bad plan. But Ember, you know, with Ember Cleave. Yeah, kind of trim some Bone Crusher Giants for some bigger removal. And try this. No, so I'll be streaming for the next uh, three and a half hours. And then uh, I'll be watching the Super Bowl after that. So I have it recorded. So I won't be, I won't start live. Yeah. So yeah, don't don't send updates in the chat of the Super Bowl. So I'll be watching it afterwards. Team chat up a game if they get this one. I'll only be up by one. We'll have a close one. Uh, probably not yet, Kendis. I'll check, but probably not yet. Oh, it is. Yeah. The first video is published it looks like so I could just publish as zero views well I got the double expansion now I just need rail Need some more lands. Nah, standard, you basically just always want to play first. Yeah, I think you should just play first in standard. Talk about a planeswalker that is difficult to to kill with damage there. That's so much loyalty.
card, good card. We can, of course, bounce it and then ionize it. That's my plan, at least. Oh, I'll just get rid of the Questing Beast. Or not. So I can Dragonfire plus Expansion copy Dragonfire. to kill questing beasts, but I don't know if I want a two-for-one myself like that. Well, yeah, Mystical Dispute's a sideboard card. I mean, we're... This is game two. It's a good sideboard card. Save McGadwick. Yeah, if there's an Ember Cleave, I'm dead. Your heart can overcome any challenge. There's another questing beast, I'm dead. Oh, right, that wasn't killing that one. Whoops. <clears throat> Alright, team chat. Gets that game. Four and three. Played that too fast. But still, that was a sweet teamer deck. Yeah, yeah, obviously I need to, to use expansion to copy the the Storm's Wrath. All right, cool te teamer deck there. All right, so type battle into the chat if you want to play next. Uh, Got to be a subscriber, of course. But yep, just like all these other subscribers are doing. Good games there, Samuel. Nice deck, good games. Ooh, looks like we got lots of people in here. Can the next person even it up? Everybody in there? All right, let's see who's up next. Naismith. All right, Naismith. Send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag, and I'm gonna let the wheel spin the wheel, see what I'm playing up next. We're getting less decks here on the wheel. Demir Merchant. This is a blue black. Gray Merchant deck. Ooh, 
We didn't do well with this deck before, but it has some cool stuff. You know, just flickering Grey Merchant with Thassa. Like, that sounds cool. And quasi-duplicate Grey Merchant. That's always a fun one also. So that's what we got. Demir Merchant. Yeah, it's got some fun stuff. Bunch of tap lands. Leyline of the Void. You know, it looks like a blue-black control deck where I think I want, like, these Fenlurkers and Burglar Rats. Just getting all the discard stuff out there. Yeah. So, like, it'd be cool if Midnight Reaper triggers, but with Leyline of the Void, Midnight Reaper doesn't doesn't do anything because my cards go to exile they don't die uh oh knight of the evan legion Cool, man. Good, good. I'm glad the first stream went went well. Good. Ouch. All right, so we get to Fenlurker plus Burglar Rat. Play them both out here, and then next turn I can Cavalier of Night and Sack One to destroy the Knight of the Ebon Legion. So I'm feeling pretty good about about this game. Another Cavalier of Night out here. This would be the time to draw a Grey Merchant. But obviously... That should be just fine either way. This is Audio Slave, Be Yourself. I think with that with that decision, if Naismith, if you watch this back later on, with with just three lands coming up, um, you should put two lands like show the two lands and have the one land um, as the card you don't know about. Because I'm probably not going to take two lands. I'll probably just take the other, the random card and so then I'll just get 
a land. And you can you can even probably put like the worst land over there too. And just play the mind games like that. Okay, so kind of like a Demir mid range. You know, we have I got Thief Sandy and Knight of the Ebon Legion to worry about. Um I was pretty fortunate with that Cavalier of Night, honestly, as you, you can see here. That's kind of like my one removal spell. So, yeah, I was very fortunate with that Cavalier of Night. I think I want to play my own Thief of Sanities instead of Tonebound Lich. Tonebound Lich, um, you know, something you can flicker with Asa and stuff, but Thief's probably a better card. Yeah, I don't know why the the song command hasn't worked since like you know middle December or something. It just stopped working. I don't know sometime around then. Yeah, ley lines are kind of meh. Ben Lurker. Look at that train with the Liliana. Ben Lurker and Burglar Rat are just underrated cards. They're pretty strong. Ooh, got another Thief of Sanity out of there. Of course, keeping that land on top because Thief of Sanity doesn't really do anything with lands. Gonna save the quasi duplicate for Grey Merchant. Ooh, Kraken. Kraken, sweet. So I'm just hoping to top deck a land. So I'm not cracking the Fable Passage because I want to draw a land. Now I want to draw a blue land and then be able to double duplicate. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. Should not play Kraken main phase. Shouldn't play anything main, like main phase one here. Should always attack with Thief first, see what you get off Thief, so then you have more information, and then make your decisions for the second main phase. So it took something that's better than Quasi Duplicate and Thief of Sanity. I think if I was Naismith this game. I think I would have prioritized more Thief of Sanities instead of. Well, I don't know. I guess that means. I guess without the Kraken, I'd be able to attack easily. You know how, like, this other Thief of Sanity was discarded. Man. 
Yeah, the merchant has come to collect. I don't I don't have anything in my deck that really stops Grey Merchant. Best card they could find would be Cavalier, but already tapped the two mana to play Lazav. Quasi Dupla Merchant. That's a lot of that's a lot of damage. Five, then seven, then nine. That's a lot of damage. Okay. GG's there, Naismith. Priced him out of the game. Yeah, it's only the, the things on the battlefield. Yeah, sorry, Nate Smith. Yeah, the Grey Merchant, it just gets crazy. All right, if you're a subscriber and you want to play next, type the word battle into the chat. We'll see who's up next. Little reminder, we're doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow, starting at noon Eastern. Uh, I'm going to be doing some budget best of one decks, and we'll also have some other um, best of three decks. These, these four up here that all updated now with Theros that we had before. All right, let's see who's up next. Gare. Gare 88. All right, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag, and I'm going to spin the wheel, let the wheel decide what deck I'm playing next. Simic Turbo Fog. This is a slow deck. All right, so this is this deck is just playing EDH in standard. That's all this deck is. is this is just EDH. Um, all it does is ramp. Play lots of lands. You know, play lots of lands, ramp, and then uh, win the game with Thassa's Oracle because you just mill out because you just draw too many cards. You just ramp and draw cards. So you just play huge Gadwicks and Graces and draw all your cards in your deck, and then eventually you win with Thassa's Oracle and Jace. That's all it's doing. Simic Turbofog. No Nissa. We're not about that life. This is too aggressive. <clears throat> Where's the webcam? Oh. Never mind, the settings aren't up. Yeah, there's no Nyx Bloom Ancient. Alright, so if it's if it's not working if it's not working then then something's wrong with the challenge. Either like one of the numbers is different or something, like because you know nothing pops up. So make sure you have so look at your screen, make sure those numbers are 
are correct and make sure I have the correct stuff. Remember, capitalization matters everywhere. All the names have to be exact. So let, let me know what's what's wrong. Like something's wrong with one of these. With one of the names. Okay. And then just make, make sure you're doing best of three. Change that third third line to, to best of three. There we go. This is not a very good hand. I'm gonna look in. Need to find a lot more lands. I, I'm not sure how many lands are in the deck. Maybe I should have got rid of Dryad. I'm glad I got rid of Root Snare after seeing Temple of Enlightenment. Oh, Flicker deck. Never mind. Maybe I need that root snare. Um. Perfect. I kept the land because I need land, but I really needed another untapped land, which which we got. Whopper, Stopper, Happer, Super, Full, Sunday, Go Bills next year. Thank you, Whopper, Stopper. Thanks for that resub. Sub count today is six. There's one. There one. Uh, it's one off. Update that. Um, I got six mana. I'll count this for four. And I'm just not even going to crack the Fable Passage. I just want to draw more lands anyway. Yeah, Simic does the best against mid-range decks for sure. Like, that's that's just Ramp. You know, like, Ramp's always done the best against... Like, that's Ramp's best matchup is mid-range. Just, you know, from a traditional sense, like, aggro can be too fast for ramp and control can you know like counter enough spells and, and stuff like that so five Yeah, Gadwick is pretty amazing. So I'm at 42 cards in library. I'm always a step ahead. This trying to mill out. I still have a, another land drop left. So we're going to cast this main phase. I'm going to wait on the Oracle. Thirty-seven cards. Oracle would be ten.
guess cracking fable passages d does take more lands out of the deck to uh, get closer to winning with Ass's Oracle. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, eleven for Krasis. Oh, the nice even number. Thassa's Oracle over there. Yeah, you need a whole lot of card draw to make Dryad to make Dryad work. Which this deck has a lot of card draw. Let's let's go and crack these. So I got twenty nine cards in the library right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna do ten. Why would you leave Island up? Like, seriously? Oh, right. They all tap for anything with Dryad. That's fine. Hmm. No lands. Let's try this. Still no lands. Hey, Mitchie. Agent of treachery. That's so treacherous. So treacherous. Okay. Nineteen. So then if I play this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
<clears throat> so I'm not winning the game this turn, but I should be winning it next turn. Close to winning it this turn. It's a matter of give and take. Got rid of two Charming Prince. Charming Prince would have been good flickering agent of treachery, but I guess but not sure how well that works with Thassa. Lumbering Battlement. Oh, man. Um. Okay, now we're talking. Looks like I came back at the perfect time. <laughs> These treacherous agents taken a lot of my battlefield, but they cannot take my freedom. That Thassa's Oracle almost won it for them. Made this even easier. I've got them all figured out. It's how you play the hand of death. I have eight cards in library. Fast as Oracle is is thirteen. And so that's the Oracle trigger happens and the opponent loses. <clears throat> um, <laughs> no, we had that the whole time, Rex. All right, so Agent of Treachery is definitely the card I'm worried about the most. I should probably play these Mystical Disputes to try to help counter it. I'm just going to put in three Mystical Disputes, take out three Root Snares. <laughs> that's, yep, that's the, that's why I can't give them a few more turns, because, yeah, a few more turns that Agent and Treachery would take in all my stuff. Yeah, I guess they had the two. They could have stolen a lot more things that, right? With with having the Charming Princes. After Thassa flickered. Yeah, couldn't they kept on doing that? No, because no, because Charming Prince doesn't bring it back immediately. It brings it back at the next end step. So no, they couldn't just keep doing that infinitely, right? Do a little 
something in. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. <clears throat> Yeah, this deck could probably play some agent treacheries in the sideboard. I don't I think I had agent treacheries in the sideboard. But I could. Don't need Oracle yet. All these Fable Passages help Uro also. Let's get cards in the graveyard. I, I want to see like a, a Dryad to start playing all these extra lands. I'll protect you. That was the card that I wanted to find the most with Omen. Um, <clears throat> most played Theros card in standard. It's probably not. It's probably not Uro or Thassa. It's probably something like Omen. Of, could be Omen of the Sea, honestly. Here we go. I probably did not need to sacrifice that. Probably want to keep that for Thassa's Oracle just in play. Gadwick, of course, just draws too many cards if I play Gadwick. Of course, it can get countered also. Deputy's good. And then bounce Deputy. Use it some more. Yeah, Annex. Annex, he's a good amount of play, but... I guess it's not just Mono Red. Like, Annex is starting to spread out. I did. I underrated Annex. Even though I, I still think I'm lower on it than Let's a lot of people this. right now. But I, I underrated it just, in general. More ramp. <clears throat> oh, I haven't played my land yet for turn. I guess we should do that. That's more like it.
We definitely have counter magic over there. We gotta keep playing around. I don't know what the likely two mana counter spell is. I'm just gonna play like a Gadwick for for like two. Kraken Kraken gets to play some good defense. And obviously I don't really mind Jace getting countered when I got it a backup. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm just hoping that Gar never finds Agent of Treachery. Use the castle. Need mystical dispute. So I'm at twenty six cards in library. No, this is a problem. This is a big problem now. Twenty-five. 
How do I not have more lands? This is all I got for lands? I'd like to play Dryad in another land. Um, eighteen cards. Yeah, yeah, I had internet troubles yesterday. It turned out that my ethernet cable from my router to my modem died. It took a while to figure out. The I thought it was like on the internet company side, they were thinking of it like it was my modem or router, and I was like, these modem and routers are new. So you should be tapping the 1-1 one, one and make me chump with these things. So Agent of Treachery really got me, of course. I should play the other Kraken first. Yeah, I should probably just play the other Kraken first. I still think I may have this. Block with the four five.
I just tap tap creatures with Thassa and Gadwick. Uh, forgot about this last time that we played this. That that Teferi. I just I just don't have stuff for Teferi, and Teferi just really kills me. Because then you can't like root snare and everything too. I remember that last time now. This deck needs answers to Teferi when Teferi's in play. And basically all I have is disputes and negates. I don't know if that's really good enough. Probably needed to cast Krasis a little earlier. All right, I'm hoping not to turn three to fairy to bounce Kraken. I'm playing Kraken. I do not want. The fairy bounce break in. Well, good game. I'm known for my excellent timing. There goes nothing. Uh, I, I don't this. think I've played a mill deck recently. Like, this is a self-mill deck. Um, well, we got Teferi out of there. You know, like we played Demir Mill, but it wasn't hasn't been recently. I, yeah, I don't think we've played it. Um since the new set's been out. Yeah, Voracious Hydra is just an awesome card. Gonna be sacking the omen to get another card in my graveyard for Uro also. I would have kept Fable Passage. That would be good enough. No. I 
All right, we're gonna move on. Good game. Agent of Treachery got me this time. Got me all those games. All right, team chat picks up another win. Almost has it tied up at four to five. GG's. Okay, um, if you are a subscriber and you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat. Um, what are the options for dealing with the resolved Teferi in blue-green? I don't know. Just attacking, I guess. I don't know if there are... Uh, like, there's bounce spells you can play in blue. You can attack with creatures. But, you know, like, bounce spells aren't great. Hey, Garrett, good games. GG's. Yeah, Questing Beast is a good one. As far as attacking goes, it's a very good attacker. <clears throat> yeah, that Lumbering Battleman combo is pretty sweet. Yeah, Lumbering Battleman combo is pretty sweet. But yeah, I, I, I didn't have... I just had no no answer to Agent of Treachery. That card just is too strong. Uh, green creatures have had haste for a while. There's been a lot of green creatures with haste. All right, let's see who's up next. Looks like everybody's in there. Matthew. All right, Matthew, you are up. Of course, send me that gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel. I am getting less and less decks to play now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I think I may go to the next one. Like I just played like a Bant Flicker. We've played against Azorius Flicker twice. Do y'all think I should just? Skip over Azorius Flicker. We just played against it. We played against it earlier also, and I played a Bant Flicker version. Yeah. Let's let's skip. Everybody says skip it. Grixis. All right, um, Matthew, still send me that gamer tag. Yeah, mono red's good. Let's see, we go here. We'll be playing this Grixis deck tomorrow. Uh, I guess it's down here for some reason. This is our this is the Grixis deck that I've been kind of working on a little bit. Been pretty happy with it. Oh, does oh Matthew just challenged on here? Alright, so challenge accepted. And then Grixis. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> I was going to go get some food, but I can't miss a second of Grixis. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see what Matthew's got going on over here. Sultai.
Just gonna get rid of the goose. Oh no! Should have waited and got rid of the Risen Reef. Save the devil. I could see us needing to bedevil an artifact. Could have gone Atreus. What do you think of the ox as a one of in this deck? I think that we're not, as you can see with our graveyard right now, we're not filling up our graveyard and, and emptying our hand enough for ox. I think, you know, ox, you want to empty your hand a lot with ox. I think you want to be, you want to be a proactive deck with ox where you're playing your spells and not just sitting around waiting to react. Um... I do need to make some ox decks. So I think the ox is pretty strong. I haven't really seen anybody take full advantage of it yet. Oh, they're at seven mana already? Ugh. I was thinking it was six. I didn't hold up a devil. At least Agent of Treachery is out of here. Uh, Croxa vs. Uro. I guess Uro wins that head to head. What? I guess just need maybe need to discard a card. Yeah, I need to get the fifth card in the graveyard. Yep. Oh, but then oh the auto tap kept Castle Lock Twain available.
Probably going to have some Planeswalkers in here. I mean, we haven't seen any Planeswalkers yet. There's three Nicobolas, three Ashiok in this deck. Drown in the Lock counters Uro. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, because Uro gets rid of the cards from the graveyard. So, yeah, it's not even good. Yeah, Matthew knew I had Thought Erasure. <clears throat> Drew at the wrong time. And plus, Croxa can attack. Um... Croxa probably shouldn't attack, though. Let's see. Gain four. Gain. Yeah, I probably don't want to attack. No Liliana. Um, no, I, I don't think I've uploaded this version online yet it's i mean it's very similar to the grixis mid-range best of one that we played you know i just kind of moved it over to best of three kind of changed up a couple of stuff like a little bit of things for best of three Activate that castle more, Matthew. Can activate it there. I think this should just be an attack out. With everything would do seven damage. Yep. Oh yeah, it could have been lethal if just that's attached to my blocker could have had lethal last turn. Drew. Vasa plus Asian Treachery though, still pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to um, I'm going to play the one unward ego to name Agent Treachery because Agent Treachery is just that devastating of a card. a nice storm. I don't think we lost because Grixis is terrible. I think we lost because Agent and Treachery and Thassa pretty good. I'm really the Agent and Treachery. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on playing Historic some more. Not my favorite use of Epic Downfall, but of course getting Uro out of here is just something that we need to do. These are the sleeves from the rat. Um, the secret lair, the rat secret lair. I think it may be the year of the rat. Hated that watery grave to be able to play Murder's Rider, you know, use it and play it. Clyde Affliction is really good. So basically, I'm, I'm staying at the same life total. Hmm. I'm staying at the same life total. You know, whether I attack or don't attack. Like, if I don't attack, they don't attack with their Acolyte. I would have been at 16 either way. Um, but So the reason to attack would be if they would have just killed my Murderous Rider and then attack, then I would have been at 14. So I'm basically just hedging that I would have stayed at 16 either way.
Gadwick's great. And I'll be playing that land from hand. What? Now I get, get to get rid of the Cavalier of Thorns. Okay, well, the Elmore Ego's gone, so, you know, top deck Agent of Treachery can happen. Um, there's only 31 cards left in the library. There's been no Agent of Treachery so far. So that can happen at any point. And that would be very bad for me. Cloud Affliction is pretty sweet. Put any permanent back, you know, get to put Gadwick. That card's been sweet. Exile Agent Treachery. No, I don't play uh, Paper Magic. Uh, I used to, but now that I stream every single day, I, I don't have time for Paper Magic. Also, this is what I do full time streaming. Got rid of one agent. Targeting another cavalier? No, you shouldn't. Yeah, okay, there you go. Gadwick's card to target. Oh, why did I attack? Why did I attack? Oh, I should have attacked. Oh man, I just missed, messed that up. <sighs> I should have attacked. Yeah, I should have attacked. Super, super punished. Yeah, those are the days critical. Well, I'm bad. Okay. 
All right, so uh, team chat evens it up. Five, five. All right, we got two hours left. So this is uh, this video is two hours long now, so we're gonna end this part. So those of y'all watch it on YouTube, you're gonna have to click on over to part three to see can team chat finish it up and win the day and get, uh, you know, finish, yeah, finish this out. It is all tied up now at five and five. All right, um, so this is part two for the sub battle Sunday special stream and uh, click on over to the third and final part up next. Thanks for watching.